broke up, uh, pouring rain for change. So slow get away to get it up. There's my dry temper spot. So it's going to be another big day of climbs, big climbs again today. I did 20 yesterday, which I was really pleased with. Um, today, 16, 18. We'll see what we do though. Um, I'm then going to town tomorrow, get some new shoes and a few bits and pieces. And then we'll crack on. So uh, I'd like to do 18 today, but I think I'm going to struggle. But we will see. Stranger things happen. So snail trainer out. Started my first climb. This is the amazing view. You see downstairs, downstairs, just down the bottom. Is, you can probably just make out the trees. But this is the view of the day. And uh, it's just stopped raining, but it's very, very close. So I'm sweating like a trooper. Anyway, onwards. That's a better view of the fog. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it's quite stunning in, this, in the sun. But today it's just fog. More rock to climb this morning. Still drizzly and rainy. And going up. I'm at the top. And this is what we can see. Amazing. Cloud, cloud and cloud. Cloud. Beautiful day, you see lovely, but on today it's just cloud, cloud and more cloud and more cloud. Native planners seem to have this perverse idea that you've got to climb every single mountain to get a look at the views. Well, most days there isn't one. And when there is one, it's like this. Fog. But a bit more up. It's uh, rock again. I think the whites are made of it, all this rock. So uh, I must embrace it. Rock, I love it, rock. I love rock. So more rock, lots more rock, rock. I think the whole day is gonna be climbing over this stuff. I love it. It's what I get up in the morning for, snail out. This is the summit, Mount Cube Summit, 2000. 909 feet, I guess. Anyway, onwards, he said, onwards. Half past, half past four. It's been a day of lots of big climbs. Um, and then late, late after lunch, the sun came out, which was nice. Um, and I crossed the road and there was a Man there asked, you want me, asked if I wanted to have a cold beer. So that was nice, that went down really well. I could have woofed another one. But uh, one was such a nice treat. And I've just been pushing on. It's been sort of like a roller coaster afternoon, up and down, up and down, up and down. Um, I wanted to push on and do some more miles tonight, but I thought the guy who was uh, who gave me the beer, he's um, a friend who runs the Hostel, which is approximately three miles ahead. So uh, he made it sound like a great place to stop. So I thought I'd check it out. So I plan to pop in there um, and possibly stay to see what it's like and get out in the morning and attack the, the big, big hill, which is like four miles up. So uh, and in the whites then. So uh, that's my plan is I'll go and have a look at the hostel. If they've got room for me to stay, I will stay. Um, or I may just hike back out again, I'm not sure. Possibly stay. Uh, even if I put my tent up, maybe I might stay anyway. But uh, that's the plan. So we're going to try and find that place. Uh, it's the next road crossing, so it's probably about three miles up the road. Hopefully a little bit less because my feet are tired again today. I don't know why. I think these hills just drag it out of me and I've got a lot, lot more yet to come. So we'll push on, and uh, I will speak to you a bit later, hopefully from the hostel. Stay now. It's not 
the up, it's the down that's hard. The down. Yes, okay. um, What's the code again? It's Musalak. That's the first mountain you're going yeah. over tomorrow. Musalak. Sorry? There's an army of moose at the top. Army of moose. Yeah, you have to fight your way through. <laughs>